what's up y'all so i know it's been a minute since i came and gave you guys any type of content but as i promised i was gonna do let's talk about it i want to do it like at least once a month i know i'm like two three months so late but whatever i'm back i'm better my hair shorter and bomber it need to be washed it's a little greasy but whatever um so I will have something for you guys on Monday, a makeup look. Um, I am trying to get my skin together. I'll talk about that in another video, but I am trying to get it together. It's just doing its own little thing right now. But anyways, um, so let's talk about it. We're going to talk about comparison. You like my nails? They real cute. You see my chrome daddies? Anyways, um... So we're going to be talking about comparison because I know that y'all know a lot about it. I know that y'all see it all the time. Sometimes I do it, whether it's intentionally or unintentionally. And I'm sure that you do it, whether it's intentionally or unintentionally. But I want to tell you that it is so dangerous. It's super, super dangerous to compare yourself to other people. The Bible even warns us in a few scriptures about not comparing ourselves to other people and i believe that god tells us not to because he knows the dangers and the negative side effects that it can cause when you are comparing yourself to other people like i'm sure like when y'all go scrolling on instagram on snapchat on facebook on twitter or whatever new little social media that they got now it's like when you start looking at people especially like that's around your age or even that's doing the same thing that you either want to do or trying to do and it's like you see the progress that they've made and you like dang it's like after you get done you start thinking about like what you doing compared to what they doing and you start having like the feeling of lack of um like you behind or like you're not doing enough or oh now you got so much to catch up on or like you just, you not as good as them and you start picking apart like what they do compared to what you do, trying to make yourself feel better. But I'm going to let you know, if you try to compare yourself to somebody, you're going to come up short every single time. And I'm not saying that the person is better than you. I'm just saying that when you begin to do that, you will feel like, dang, I'm coming up short again or dang, I got so much to do when it's not even like that, you know, and that's why I believe that God warns us of comparison. He tells us in a few different scriptures, like in 2 Corinthians and in Galatians and some other places as well, um, that you should never compare yourself against someone else. The only person that we should even compare ourselves to is Jesus Christ because that's who we're trying to model ourselves as. That's who we're trying to be like is to be like him. So it's like you comparing yourself against somebody that's not even perfect. People don't ever post their bad moments. They don't post they in between moments they don't post when they had to ask five people for a ride they don't post people when they ask for five dollars they ain't posting when them lashes not on point or when they lace front not glued properly they don't post that kind of stuff they only post what's gonna make them look best what's gonna make them look good what's gonna make them look like oh i got it all under control my life is just perfect like who you know what i'm saying like it's very rare that you see people that actually post the good the bad and the in between and don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with being um private or being discreet there's nothing wrong with that i'm just saying when you start to compare yourself you can't compare yourself with what someone tells you or with um what they post because social media to me is like monopoly money it ain't real bruh it's not real you cannot buy nothing with that monopoly money you can't i'm sorry you can't so it's just like remember like you have to always give yourself like a little pep talk you know what i'm saying like what i always try to tell myself is shanice slow down look it ain't even that even if it really is that i tell myself i'm like bruh it ain't even that you good like cool cool it like your time will come god has a timing for everything he has a time i am drooling but he has a time to exalt you he has a time to hide you he has a time to prepare you he has a time to do basically everything it's even a scripture i wish i could find that scripture real fast but i can't type and talk at the same time but 
there is a scripture where, you know, it's a time to live, it's a time to die, it's a time to sow, it's a time to reap. You know, there's a time for everything. And it's like one thing that the enemy loves to do is try to make you think that you don't have enough time or that you're running out of time. You know, like look at Abraham's wife. I think her name was Sarah. Yeah, Sarah. Like how she was like, I'm going to have a baby and I'm old as dirt. But the thing about God is, is that he makes the impossible possible just so you can be able to give him back the glory and be like, it couldn't have been nobody else but him that actually did it. That's why he does the things that he does that because you're like, I know I couldn't have done it in my own strength. It had to be him that done it because nobody else could have done it. That woman was old as dirt when she had her son and he did it that way strategically and on purpose. Like we are all born for a time that we are needed. Your birthday was supposed to be your birthday. The gender that you are is the gender that you were supposed to be because he's going to use every single thing that we've grown up with, every single thing that um, we've experienced for our purpose and for our identity. So don't ever start to compare yourself with someone else because their journey ain't yours because it's a point like we're all assigned to a certain kind of people and it's like whatever she or he is doing is for the people that they're called to whether they're walking in their purpose or not you can't compare that because we all have different seasons that we in we all have different um things that we're working on things that we're focusing on so for you to compare yourself with somebody else is like a disservice to the creator because he like bruh you tripping off of what tisha doing but what I got you doing over here is something totally different. Like, focus, baby. Focus. The devil don't want you to focus anyways. Simply because if you start focusing, he know that he can't collect no time off you. He can't collect no benefits off you. He basically, you done gave him his papers and be like, you're unemployed, sir. Don't come back to reapply for the position because you're unemployed. So, he mad. He don't want you to say that. So, he doesn't want you to focus he doesn't want you to start getting in tune with yourself and getting in tune with the things that God has spoken over your life and the things that God is getting ready to bring you into. So when you start to compare yourself with other people, it's like, he like, yeah, I got you right where I want you to. Because now when you start looking at other people, you start silently competing with them. Like, you're like, oh, they did that? Let me go do this. Let me try to do a little better. Or, oh, they bought that? Let me go buy the red one. Because, you know, she ain't did it right when she put it with the black. She ain't do it right. Let, I'm going to show her how to do it. And it's like, we start doing like the whole little silent competition thing. And it's like, now you creating division. You can you're creating strife but you don't even know that you're allowing the enemy to be able to use you like that because you so caught up on oh she trying to do this or he trying to do this let me hurry up and try to do that and like my mom always said like you're gonna go broke trying to impress other people and when you need them to be able to pay a bill you can't find them people that you're trying to compete with because then nobody tell you a little raggedy stuff to go get that little ugly car then nobody tell you to go get that fur coat you was fine with the little pleather one that you had that you got from burlington you was fine but you trying to keep up with the joneses and the joneses don't know nothing about you they just trying to do them and it's like there's nothing wrong with doing better when you can be able to afford to do better there's nothing wrong with trying to compete with yourself trying to do better than yourself the problem comes in when we begin to compare ourselves and we always got to look at it like like i said look at social media as monopoly money even when i was growing up i remember my mom always used to tell me like your friends will never tell you the whole story not saying that they are lying but they'll never tell you the whole story they'll tell you the highlights of it or the things that make them look better but they'll never tell you the whole story so you getting involved in certain things that they trying to convince you to get involved in is based off of what they're saying but when you get in it it's something totally different so it's like you have to be careful about what people say and you have to be careful about what people do that what they show you is what I meant to say because it's like people only want to show you the good stuff. They only want to show you things that works in their favor. That's like how if you ever listen to a story when people, especially if you're talking to a liar, they tell the story in a way that makes them look good. They tell the story in the way that people be like, oh, I feel bad for you, JoJo. She left you like that for real? Oh, my gosh. Versus really telling the truth. And you like, see, he a liar or she a liar. So it's like 
you have to gauge what people show you and what people tell you by the truth. And it's like, it's all nice, you know, to like pictures. I hope I'm not all over the place. But it's nothing wrong with liking pictures, comments, and everything. But just don't get yourself caught up in thinking that you've fallen short. Don't do that. Whatever you do, don't do that. Even if you feel that because it's human nature to feel like, oh, man, I'm not doing enough. Or it's human nature to even get caught up in that. Just check yourself real quick. Be like, you know, a note. Amen. Blessings to her. Hallelujah. Blessings on her. She, I'm so happy that she doing her dang on thing. I'm so proud of her. But let me focus on what I got going on right now. Let me focus on what I need to focus on. Let me begin to concentrate on what I need to concentrate. That's just like, I'll use myself. I have no business comparing myself to nobody. Hey, nobody. 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 Even when money's slow. I don't need to compare myself to nobody. And I know that, you know, before I really got intentional with my relationship with God, I will find myself doing that. And I didn't even realize that that's what I was doing when I would get like, you know, really upset. And I'm like, no, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. So what I started doing, I started getting down. And I mean that by I started like studying things about my craft. I started studying things about God. I started reading my Bible more. I started trying to do more things with God and do more things with my purpose in mind. When you so busy on yourself and you so busy trying to make yourself better, you don't see nobody else. It's like when you, um, I don't know if y'all heard this little comparison, but like, um, when people talk about the horses that race like they have blockers on they can't see nothing like literally nothing but what's in front of them they can't see what's on the side of them they can't see what's in the back of them all they see is right here and it helps you to stay focused on what's in front of you like if we really be real with ourselves we got way too much stuff on our plate to ever even look on what somebody else is eating like you know like we got too much to do. So I figure I'm like, I'm going to pour myself in my education. Right now, I'm, you know, doing the little free route, which is like the library, the internet, you know, anything that I can find. I know y'all tired of seeing me in this shirt. But anyways, um, I try to find ways to still educate myself until I can be able to have that opportunity to pay tuition again to um further my education in an in another way but it's like we got to start focusing on what we need to focus on if you a baker learn how to um dye some frosting learn how to make new things with frosting learn how to get them petals just right for that wedding cake that you've been dreaming of to do for, do for your client learn how to make edible glitter you know anything if you a makeup artist, learn how to get them brows together. You know, learn how to make the foundation seamless. Learn how to cover up blemishes and dark spots and all that stuff. You know, if you a nail tech, learn how to make 3D flowers or learn how to um, encapsulate things or learn how to, you know, make holographic things or learn how to whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, whatever you do to keep yourself from comparison, from comparing yourself to other people, Get down in your books and start looking like, what can I do to make myself better? If you don't even know what your hobbies are, like anybody can have a hobby, but if you don't know what your destiny or what your purpose is, open up your mouth and ask God, like, okay, listen, I know I'm here. I know I'm still living. I know I'm still breathing. What do you want me to do? What, what did you call me to do? You know, is it one of my hobbies or is it something that I've never even tapped in that I didn't even know that I was really good at that you really want me to do for the rest of my life for you? What is it that you've asked of me to do? Like, what's my purpose? What is my destiny? What is my identity? What are my gifts? What are my talents? Ask him those types of things and be sincere and he going to answer you because he does want to answer you. As long as you live in your whole life is to glorify him. Your whole life is a prophecy he knew you before you were even born. So for you to even be born, you live in your life from the beginning. But he's looking at you from the end. Like, he know where you're going to end up, but you here. And he like, I just got to get you right there. That's all I'm doing. That's all our lives are, is getting us at that end point. That's it. All we doing is trying to get to that end point. So he want to know. He Why did I say he want to know? 
He wants you to ask him so he can tell you so that you could live good and he can be happy and you could give him the glory and he could be happy again and just making him happy all the time. And it's like, as long as we're living and breathing, we still got a purpose on this earth. I'm trying not to make this video this long, but we still got a purpose on earth and we still got something to do left. Like, even if our lives don't look the way that it want us even if our lives don't look the way that we want them to look, if we're not driving the cars that we want to um, drive, even if we're not with the person we want to be with, break up with them then, girl. Sis, it's 2018. Just leave them. <laughs> Just leave them. But even if we are not where, we're, where we feel like we should be at, we're still where we should be at. I got to find that scripture too. But we're all we are, where we are supposed to be at on purpose because there's something that he wants us to know. There's something that he wants us to learn in that time. He wants us to get better. He don't want to see y'all struggling all the time. He don't want to see me struggling all the time because he know I'd be crying all the time. But he don't want us to live like that. He wants us to live our best lives. He wants us to enlarge the kingdom and to pull more people to him and to show them their best selves. So comparison is dead, man, that stuff is over. After today, after you watch this video, comparison is done. You're done comparison, comparing yourself. You are worth it. You are beautiful. You are intelligent. You are purposeful. You are amazing. You have so much more life to live than what you are currently living. You have so much to experience than what you are experiencing. You have so much to do. It's crazy. It's bananas how much you have to do. And all you got to do is open your mouth. All, that's all you got to do. It says in his word that seek and you will find. Knock and it will be answered. So is it not going to be answered? Open Y'all know what I'm talking about. But that's all he wants you to do. All you got to do is ask him and then trust him. And then once you trust him, everything, I'm going to say this and I'm in this video. Everything is not going to be a cakewalk. It's not going to be easy. But as long as you're trusting in God, it's going. he's going to give you the grace for it to be easier than what it could have been if you get what i'm saying like of course it's gonna be times where you're like look i'm about to give up i'm about to check out on you and i'm gonna leave you where i found you and i'm gonna go back to doing me but we all know that we may act like we want to leave god for a little bit but we always come back because we know that his will is perfect for us and we know that whatever he got for us is way better than what we can imagine for ourselves like it don't compare the things that he's getting ready to do for us is not even what we could do for ourselves it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be lit get into this lifestyle because it's about to be amazing and i don't want y'all to miss it because y'all trying to compare yourselves to people we we done with that bro we done with it now if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you've had some things that you've compared yourself with, but you have gotten over it or you're trying to get over it, please comment. I like to have new friends. Comment below. And guess what? I'll be back to y'all on Monday with my new makeup tutorial. You know what I'm saying? And if there's any looks that you want me to try or to recreate, just drop that in the comment too. I'm cleaning my brushes right now. So I'm going to talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all. Bye, sis.